All right, so I'm back at it again, vlogging my Frogwarts year two stitching progress. So this is at about the four hour mark. I'm at uh, a little over 5% done, 611 stitches done today. And I'm not quite done yet for the night, so I'm hoping to make a little bit more progress here on the burrow. As you can see, um, I've got a, an 8x8 and 11x11 Q-snap combined, so I've got an 8x11. Um, and I don't have a grime guard that fits this size, so uh, I'm just making do without, but that's okay. Um, and I have decided to do a bit of a combination of the DMC and the Fancy Floss uh, versions. So um, pretty much uh, element by element, I'm deciding what I'm gonna do with that. So right here with the burrow at the beginning, I'm doing that in the DMC, uh, just cause I like the way it looked and I like the way that it came together in the DMC version. So here's where I am. I'm watching uh, gymnastics trials go on here and they're just about to announce the team. So waiting with bated breath on that and I'll do a little bit more stitching before it's time to call it a night. Alright folks, here's my last update of the day. I uh, stitched for over five hours, nearly five and a half. And of course I didn't even complete one element <laughs> on the pattern, but that's alright. The burrow is quite large here. Uh, so let's see here. I stitched it will focus for me. I stitched 805 stitches today, which puts me over 7% complete. And based on how many stitches are in this pattern, um, I need to stitch between 7 and 800 stitches per day in order to complete in a reasonable amount of time. So I met that today, which is fantastic. I am working the rest of the week, so um, I will have to take up some of my time to actually, you know, earn a living. Um, but I work from home, so break time will be spent stitching, and then my boyfriend will be out of town for work, So, and I have zero other plans, so I am just going to hang out all week and stitch. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thanks for hanging out with me, um, and yeah, night one complete. Good morning, it's Frogwarts day two, and I have not even begun to start stitching yet, but look what just arrived in the mail today. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> um, I grew up on the East Coast and fell in love with Utz cheese balls, and any alternative does not equate, and you can't buy them here in St. Louis very easily. Uh, occasionally you can buy them in like an office depot, which is weird, um, but they definitely don't sell like just a bag of chips that you buy at the grocery store. So I ordered some online for my Frogwarts week of <laughs> hanging out by myself and stitching all week long, and I could not be more excited. Okay, I only have a second before I have to head to a meeting, but I wanted to give you a morning update. I've got about 80 stitches in this morning, so not a ton, but uh, for, you know, just getting in some stitches during breaks while I'm working, that's not so bad, huh? <laughs> so I'm hoping to get in some lunchtime stitching as well, and then I'll update you after that. All right, I only have one second before I have to run to another meeting, but um, I was not able to stitch through lunch, but I did, um, I was able to stitch through some meetings and still be able to fully participate. So um, I actually have gotten quite a bit done today. I am about three hours in and I, where am I? I'm almost at 400 stitches done for the day. So a good halfway point. I'm feeling really good about this. Um, burrow is done and I'm heading into the Fort Anglia next. Gotta run, catch you up later. Y'all, I'm panicking. Okay, so um, I went to dive into the Ford Anglia, and you see I've started on the white stitching in there. And uh, then I pulled the floss colors for the car, and it's these colors all the way on the left. And they just look so dark. They're not like what I picture when I think of the Ford Anglia. So 
think I'm gonna change them but changing floss colors is terrifying I'm not I don't feel like I'm good at it and I'm afraid that uh especially under this time crunch that if I pick something I don't like then I'm gonna be upset and then I'm I don't know anyway so I've got these two other options but I think I'm gonna go with the one in the middle because looking at pictures of the Fort Anglia like what on the left is sort of like what I had in my brain, but then looking at pictures, it's more of like the middle, I think. So I think I'm gonna try the colors in the middle. Oh! <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I mean, the car's not that big, so I'm gonna stitch a little bit of it and then I'll check back in and see how I'm feeling about it. It will be one of two things. It will either be utter regret or it will be excitement. <laughs> We shall see. Okay, panic is still present, but mildly subsiding. <laughs> I think I'm liking it so far. And the light and dark are blending, honestly, better than I thought they were. I started with the dark and I was really panicking about how bright it was, um, but I think it blends really well with the other color I picked. So I'm going to keep going and see how it turns out. I've got my first frogging to do. <laughs> uh, this little section right here is missing a row. And also these two stitches have been driving me crazy for like over an hour. So since I have to redo right here anyway, I'm just going to pull these out too and fix them all. So, but anyway, I'm liking the colors that I picked for the car. Let me show you the ones um, that I did. So I picked... Uh, what color is this? I picked 518 for the dark blue, 519 for the light blue, and then um, the called for color for the fender was 28, but it's really purple, um, and so I subbed in 413 um, for the bumper. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'll, I'll pull this out and fix that, and then hopefully get this car done shortly. All right, my flying car is complete. I'm sitting at about, oh, I don't know, five and a half hours of stitching today. And I'm a little over 700 stitches. So I am within my goal range, but I'm definitely gonna keep going because it's not even 7 p.m. So um, I got way more like workday stitching done today than I was expecting. Um, and no one worry, I actually did my job too. <laughs> but um, it just worked out today, so I since I cannot expect that to be the case the rest of the week necessarily, um, I want to make sure that I get in as much stitching time today as I can. I realize, I think I forgot to mention, um, as I was stitching the steering wheel, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little hard to see, there you go. So there's a steering wheel in there, and as I was stitching it, um, it's charted over on this side, and I realized that is the wrong side. So I moved it over to the proper side. All right, I think this is my stopping point for the night. If I don't go to sleep now, I think I'm just going to <laughs> collapse. <laughs> um, but boy oh boy, did I make good progress today. I stitched nearly a thousand stitches. I stitched 981 stitches. Where does that put me? That puts me at 1,786 total and over 16%. So that's pretty fantastic. I stitched like, I don't have the number in front of me, but I stitched over seven hours today. <laughs> I, I just knew that my boyfriend being away for work was going to be a perfect vehicle for sitting and stitching all night long. So just a quick note, um, I am stitching the Whomping Willow in the called for overdye. Um, that's the first overdye that I'm using on this project so far. Um, and the... I believe everything in the borough was called for DMC and then I mixed up 
um, I mean, I, I switched up the, the blues, uh, for the Fort Anglia, but the rest is the call for DMC there as well. So that's where I am. I'm going to cut this video together, maybe listen to a little bit more of my book as I try to fall asleep, and I will see y'all tomorrow.